Hey fellow beaters, it's JP. So if you remember from way back in December, I showed, I made this bracelet and this was part of the bee challenge, the winter bee challenge that I did with Odin. And this was my snowflakes and icicles bracelet that I made using the beads that she had sent me. Now I had promised you guys that I would show you how to make the component, um, especially this one. And I haven't, I hadn't done it, so I'm gonna do that in this video. So what we're gonna do is make, I'll start with earrings and we'll make earrings. So I changed up the colors a little bit, but it's essentially the same component. And, um, and then next week I'll show you how to make, uh, put it together and make bracelets. So you'll learn the component and you can get some practice making the component by making earrings and then Next week, you'll, you can make a bracelet too. So you have a little matching set going. And once you know how to make the component, you can make a necklace, you can make a ring and so forth and create a whole set. All right, so what do you need? What you're gonna need is basically, I'm using two colors of Super Duos. So I got blue and silver. And the reason I did two colors is just gonna be easier to show, to, to show you uh, how to sort of put the component together. You can use one color, you don't need to, to need to use two colors. I find that it actually looks kind of cool with the two colors. So I did my silver and my blue. You also want two colors of bicone. So I have four millimeter bicones here. And again, you don't need to have two colors. Just, I just think it looks cool that way. You'll need a four millimeter round. So I'm using these gray pearls, which I have a lot of, which is why they're showing up again in another video. I just have a ton of these gray pearls. Then you'll need, um, an 11 O and yes, they're called 11 O's. Some viewers said it was peculiar that I was calling it 11 O's. Nope, that's what they're called or they can be called 11 aught, but there's nothing wrong with calling them 11 O's. It's not peculiar, peculiar. And of course, eight O's guys. Um, in my original component, so I was using the eight O's. I didn't use eight O's. I actually um, had two millimeter pearls that Odin had sent me. So I had to use those in this design. So if you have those, you can use those, but I imagine everybody has eight O beads in their stash. So go ahead and use those. And um, this should basically cover it. You don't really, it's not, I mean, I think everything here is something you guys should probably have in your stash. And of course, you'll need ear wires um, and jump rings to put the ear wires on the rings. That's it. Okay, so let's get started. So to begin our earring component, what you're going to do is pick up 16 Super Duo beads. And I have done this in this pattern, so it's easier for you guys to see what I'm doing. So here I've done three blues, a silver, three blues, a silver until I have a total of 16 beads. Then what I'm gonna do is bring them down towards the end of my thread, leaving a, sh a short tail about a couple of inches that I can later weave. And I'm gonna tie a knot. I don't wanna tie this too tight. I don't wanna leave slack in the thread, but I also don't want it so tight that I can't get my needle between the beads. And you will need to do that. So you don't want it super, super tight. So this is not too bad, and now I know that I can get through all of the beads. So what I'm going to do is now just go through all the Super Duos one more time, just to give them a little extra support. And take your time with this, because you want to go through maybe three or four beads at a time. And make sure your thread doesn't get caught anywhere around any of the beads. My thread got caught there for a second. Okay. So, let's see. Okay, 
so I'm back where I started. I just got one last one to go through and didn't skip any. Make sure you haven't skipped any. Okay. Now what you want to do is once you've gone through all of their beads, you want to go into the middle bead, the next sort of set of three blues that you have, like I have here. And I'm going to go into the middle of this set of three. Come out of that center one. And then I'm going to go up into the second hole of that same bead. Now I'm going to pick up my 8 and yes, they're called 8 or 8 aught, depending on what you're used to hearing. And I'm going to go into the next center bead in the, my next group of three blue beads here. Just like that. And I'm going to do this three more times. And then here's, I picked up an 8 and I'm going into this next um, middle bead of the set of blue, the next set of blues. So I got two 8 pick up another one, go through the next center, and one last 8 and we're back at the beginning. So this is what you're going to get and it's going to push out the rest of the group and you're going to go through it again to reinforce your beads. Okay, so now I've gone ahead and added that last, went through it. I'm going to go up into, go into this next blue bead. Then I'm going to turn and go up into its other hole. And I'm going to go into the next blue right next to it. Can you guys, yeah, I think you guys can see that. And now I'm going to go up into the top hole of this blue bead. Just like that. And here's what your piece is going to look like. Okay, I'm just going to flip my work because it's easier to work in this direction. And here's my tail. I'll get that out of the way. Now for this next part, what you're going to do is start using your bicones. So I'm going to start with my blue bicone. It really, you know, if you're using one color, then you just pick one. I'm going to start with my blue and I'm going to go into this next blue. Like so, I'm going to push the silver ones out of the way. Now I'm going to pick up a white one and I'm going to still just keep going into the blue super duos. So make sure you're pushing the silver ones up. Like so. Now I'm going to do another blue crystal. And next is white. I can just pick up the crystal. There we go. And I'm pushing the silver one away. We're not going to do anything with those just yet. Give this a good tug 
because you want that to kind of sit nice and tight. And again, you're only going through blue super duos. So this is the reason why I had, you know, I used two different colors, just, just so it's easier to demonstrate. It's a little bit of a tricky uh, component. Mostly I think it's just tricky to show. It's actually a very easy component. It works up very quickly. And we're back to blue. And last one is my white component. So I'm just going to push the silver out and go through it. So here's what you get. Now, you, what you want to do is reinforce. So go through all of the super duos and crystals one more time. I'm going to skip that step for the sake of time because you're just going through beads. And once so, assume you've done that. And what I'm now going to do is make my loop for the earring. So that's this part here with the um, 11 o seed beads. And so first you wanna pick up five 11 o's. and go back through the crystal. Now I'm going through the white crystal because that's what I picked over here. It really doesn't matter which crystal you pick. You just want to stick with it, whichever you pick. Like so. Um, go through all the beads one more time. like this. Then what you're going to do is come out of the center 11, 11 O bead here, and then you pick up five more 11 O's, three, four, five, and you're going to go back around just that center 11 O. Like so, uh, now you're going to reinforce this group of beads. So I'm just going to go through this really quick. So I've gone through it twice. Go ahead and go through it three times or more. Up to you. And there you are. And now you're going to come down the two 11 O's here. And I'm not quite sure how I did that, but somehow I ended up going through this super dual. So I'm going to back out and you want to go through the crystal and through the blue bead if you can, just to, or the blue super dual rather. Now you want to go into the second hole of that same super dual and also you want to come out of your silver super dual. Now, go up into the second hole of the Silver Super Duo. Pick up your four millimeter round bead. So, I got my four. And you go into the next Super Duo here. And do it again. Pick up another four millimeter round. Go into your Super Duo. And repeat. Last time. Through the super duo, the round, and 
There's our component, almost done now. One last thing to do is to, you probably guessed it, reinforce. Go back through the beads a second time. So let me turn, get that tail away from you guys. And once you've done that, you want to come out of a super duo. Now this time it matters which one you're coming out of. So in order to get the orientation of this crystal in the correct place, you actually want to come out of this super duo here because of where this is located. So I'm going to go through and come out of that one. I'm going to pick up an 11 my crystal, and an 11 and I'm going to go through this super duo. But I'm going to go, so I'm coming out of this hole in this direction, so I'm going to go through this hole and go down in that same direction. Okay, so I came out under the thread, which is not going to happen to you because... And this orients your crystal in the right way. And all you have to do now, so you're coming out of this hole, is to go back through the crystal, or the 11 of the crystal, and then the 11 o And, of course, I cannot get my fingers to line up. Uh, there we go. So, and then go back through the 11 o in the other direction. And this will tighten the crystal in place and it's in the right orientation so they match. The two earrings match. So that's what you want. And now I'm just gonna, all I'm gonna do is tie off my thread. And so to tie off, all you're gonna do is do a bunch of half hitch knots. Um, I usually do three. So I'm gonna go through the super duo here, um, make a knot, go, if I can go find the hole, there you go, go through the pearl and the super duo, make another knot, And one more time. Pearl Super Duo. Make a knot. And then I'm just gonna weave this away a little bit so to get away from the knots. If you can, go down into Super duos. So I'm weaving away. So you can follow whatever thread path. You don't have to do what I'm doing here, but because all we're doing is getting rid of the thread. So there it is. I'm going to grab my scissors and cut the thread and cut this tail. Okay. All I have to do now is add on my little ear wires and my jump ring. 
So open your jump ring, put it through the loop, put your ear wire through, and then close the loop. And done. That's it. So now you just do it again to make your other earring. Very simple. Um, anyway, so next week I'll show you how to make a bracelet with these same components. Okay, guys, see you next time.